I'm Kat and I'm back with another video. Hopefully, this will be the last time that y'all see me looking like Aunt your Mama's great, 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 great granddaughter because I was unable to get my hair done. If you are new to my channel, give me a finger, give me a finger, hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, show Nana some love, show her grandma some love, man. <laughs> and if you are already a subscriber, hey girl, hey. Okay, y'all, I'm sleepy. So let's get this video started. breakfast banana because she I just realized yesterday she ain't never had a meal of mine you feel me so y'all here we're making her some breakfast because that's all she wanted yesterday she ain't want no breakfast so yesterday I made me a little breakfast family but we got our sausages going over here we got the water going right here for some tea we got her pinko we got some white onion green pepper red pepper sizzling in this pan we want to cook that down real soft we got <laughs> We use extra virgin olive oil. We use fresh salt. You gotta grind it. That's how you know it's fresh. And then you use fresh pepper too. And then here we got three eggs. You gotta you get the wood. You don't add no water or no milk. That is for scrambled eggs. When you make an omelet, you want your egg to be nice and thick and you want it to stay together. So when you flip it, you're smooth. You're smooth. Okay, y'all. So as y'all can see, she knows how to cook. <laughs> so, I'm gonna let y'all know how this breakfast tastes. This is gonna taste fine. What? Okay, yo. So, breakfast is served. Now, let me tell you what I got her. So, I got her some wheat bread on, some wheat bread with some um, blackberry and raspberry jam. And then I got a little craig and cheese. And I got her some sausages here. She like them like this, like really charred, but not burnt. So I made them like that. I put a toothpick through it so they wouldn't look really nice. And then here I got her omelet. Which is just, it's just a cheesy omelet. Y'all know what it is. And then I just added some um, red bell pepper on top just for the looks because I knew she was going to record her, record her play. Y'all see the cheese gooey out of there? Don't mind a little slit down the end. She was making me feel some type of way because she said, is my egg cooked? <laughs> like, duh, for sure. So this is my breakfast that my granddaughter made for me. And it really looks delicious. So as you can see, she gets it from her grandma and her mom. <laughs> She ain't going without no meals. And she don't need nobody to make her no food. This is my last gift that I'm wrapping while being entertained by Peyton. She is hilarious. And then I will show you guys my gifts that I wrapped. And then I'll show you my Christmas decor. Okay, here are the gifts that I wrapped. I forgot to buy a name tag, so I have to run out tomorrow and get some. So I wrapped each gift different so I know who they belong to, as well as I put them in orders of family. So, here's my gifts. I took my time, as y'all can see. I have a little bit of OCD, but sometimes that comes in handy. Here's the great big one. And then we have this one. I had a total of eight gifts, so I had a total of four different wrapping papers. So I wrapped the gifts in sets of twos, so it will be an even amount of wrapping paper when I put it under the tree. So that is my gift wrapping. Everybody else got money. Now let me take y'all downstairs and show y'all my Christmas tree. That should be in a magazine. And that is no cap. It should be in a magazine. I was unable to put my grandkids candy in a stocking. So I just put it in gift bags. And here's the first one. And here's the second one. 
I showed all the candy in my Christmas haul. So if you haven't watched that video, I really would appreciate it if you go do so. Okay, on this coffee table, I just put my Bath and Body Works candle with the stand on top of a mirror. And then I put four gnomes over here, two little ones, two big ones, and then this glass jar with a candle on the inside of it. I didn't do too much because my tree is so beautiful. I didn't need to do a lot. Then on this coffee table, the same thing, except for I added a truck. And then I have this Audi's candle, which is first snow. Then on my front door, here's the reef that I was so happy that I got. And I told y'all the hanger was gray. I mean white and it is gray. Then on the wall behind the door is a silver snowflake, a gold bell, and another silver snowflake. Then on this wall, I have the same thing. Silver, gold, 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 silver, gold. And then hanging right here, my babe bought me this. So I'm guessing this is what he wants me to wear. <laughs> so I just hung it right there until I go upstairs. And on my coffee table with the two big silver trees, I decided to put my giant elf and he has a village that he's playing with. And then I have the silver reindeer with a candle on both sides. On my fireplace, I did a royal village. Stockings hanging right here on this side, as well as this side. And then I put the gnomes inside of lanterns. I sprayed artificial snow on my garland and added the balls to it. Then I have my Mr. and Mrs. Nutcracker. They are royalty, baby. Royalty. You hear me? And then I have my silver and gold deer. As well as I have another gnome in this one. So this is what my fireplace looks like. I had to move my mini refrigerator, but I could not take it out of my living room. So the plant that normally sits where my Christmas tree is, I put it right there. And then I have this stuff, two gold deer and a Christmas tree. You turn it on and it swirls. And then I have a oil diffuser sitting on there as well as a blue candle. Now for the start of the show, y'all, I am so proud of my Christmas tree. Let me show y'all why. And this is my finished Christmas tree. I took my time to make sure everything was perfect. This is the prettiest tree that I have ever done in my entire life. My vision came out perfect. And here is the big surprise. I wanted that elf expanded from the ceiling to look like it was going into the Christmas tree. And with the help of my babe, we made it happen. Then I have balls hanging from the ceiling.
And here are my little gold gnomes. And I put these two doves up here in memory of my mother and my father, as well as I put some wings up here behind the veil. I hope you guys enjoyed my Christmas decorations. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one.